it's finally time to start thinking about your site colors. Color is a powerful design element that helps you tell stories, communicate messages, elicit feelings, and create a visual hierarchy. But how do you make sure your site's colors draw attention to the right content and communicate the right message? The answer is color theory. Color theory is a set of logical rules that help determine how colors are used and interpreted in design. Once you understand color theory, it's much easier to make color decisions for your designs. Color theory provides three main ways of describing color, hue, saturation, and value. Hue is the particular color in question. Let's say green, for example. Saturation is the intensity and richness of a color. The higher the saturation, the more intense the color. The lower the saturation, the more pale and washed out it appears. Do you want super saturated Kermit the Frog green or a less saturated Squidward green? Value describes the darkness of a color. A darker color has a lower value. Take this color. How would you describe its hue, saturation, and value? If you said it's a green hue with low saturation and low value, you're absolutely correct. But too many colors can be distracting, and the wrong colors can communicate the wrong message. So web designers create a color scheme, a range of colors used throughout a single web design to establish a specific mood, tone, or look and feel. We recommend a three color scheme for your class project because it creates a visual interest and variety without becoming busy or distracting. You will build your color scheme with help from hex codes, special combinations of letters and numbers that represent individual colors in the world of web design. Written as a pound sign followed by six digits of letters or numbers, hex codes tell your computer what color to display on the screen. That's why these handy codes are so important when designing and coding websites, and you'll get to explore them in detail later. Your color scheme will become a part of your style tile, a handy file that contains the color scheme and other visual elements you plan to include in your website all in one place. To save you some time, we've created a starter style tile that you'll be building on over the next few lessons. For now, let's hop over to XD and learn how to add your color scheme to your style tile. Start by opening your style tile in Adobe XD like I have. After choosing your color scheme, you'll add each of your three colors to these little placeholder squares. First, click the Select tool, then click a square. With the square selected, click the Fill Color under Appearance in the Property Inspector panel. This opens XD's Color Picker. Click anywhere on the Color Picker to choose a new color. Notice that when you choose a color, the hex code is displayed in the hex field below the color. That's a great way to find a hex code for a color. If you already know the desired hex code, you can also type it directly into the hex field at the bottom of the color picker. For example, I'll change this color to black by typing a pound sign followed by six zeros, which happens to be the hex code for the color black. After pressing Enter, ta-da! The square color changes to black, just like magic. If you plan to frequently use a color, click the plus sign in the bottom left of the color picker to save the color as a swatch or a favorite color in XD. See, now the color appears at the bottom of my color picker so I can easily click to apply it over and over again. Adding your color scheme to your swatches will save you time when designing. Click anywhere on your workspace to close the color picker and accept the color. You'll follow the same process to add border colors to shapes in XD. I don't want my shape to have a border, so I'll uncheck the border checkbox on the property inspector to remove the border color. Repeat these steps for the other two squares to finish adding your color scheme. When you're done, save your file in the same folder as your class project. Now that you know how to apply colors in XD, click Next to start choosing your site colors. Mm -hmm.